welcome back to my channel or if you're new here thanks for tuning in so excited to do this video so excited here's why <laughs> kind of went on a little bit of a shopping spree today <laughs> maybe not a shopping spree but i definitely made some purchases um that i did not intend to make i just couldn't help myself i found myself on social media scrolling and scrolling scrolling and then you know all the products they were really they were really getting to me. So I made a couple purchases. So I am going to be having some um, hauls and such come up here soon. A couple of reviews, some fun stuff. But today we're doing an anti-haul because I need to tell myself not to buy makeup because <laughs> I am really struggling right now. <laughs> I'm really excited. I've never done this before and I can't wait to uh, tell you guys the things that I don't want to buy. <laughs> If you guys are curious of what's on my face, it's all of my project pan items. I'll put them in the description box below. Put a video up here as well of all my project pan items if you want to see what those are. So let me head over to Trend Mood on Instagram. If you guys aren't familiar, Trend Mood is literally the best place to go to when you're looking for new makeup. It's also the place that's gonna make you wanna buy all the makeup. So maybe don't go there. <laughs> but for someone like me, it's really great because it really helps me keep up with everything that's getting released, all the new products, all of the stuff that's happening in the beauty community on like the product side. If you're not already, I'd appreciate it if you to consider subscribing to my channel. I put out videos every week. So let's go ahead and figure out what do I want to talk about first? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is on here that I just, I don't want to buy. I don't want to buy. This is hard because I really like to buy. Oh, I see something right now. <laughs> okay, so first thing is this. This is the Too Faced Clover collection, I want to say. And this is a bronzer in the shape of a puppy face. Why, first of all? I've talked about Too Faced lately and I'm just not supporting them right now anymore just because I've always found them kind of cheesy and this is cheesy AF. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, puppies are cute, but I don't want, this is just, this is just weird to me. I'm like, ugh, like no, no thank you. And it's a shimmery bronzer. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Like this is definitely a no-go for me and it's 32 dollars $32 no 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 absolutely no <laughs> that's definitely a no for me oh something else that I won't get is this this is the morphe mattifying continuous setting spray no thank you for me I do not oh that's my dog <laughs> I do not like a matte look like that mm -mm. Mm -mm. I got dry skin so that's also a no for me I feel like some of these are pretty quick it's like absolutely no I do really like the like original morphe setting spray I've definitely tried it before but it's been a while but I do remember really liking it oh and then there's this okay so this is a palette by sugar pill and it's really interesting looking like I really feel like this is innovative and kind of cool but when you take a closer look at the actual shades and the color story of the palette it makes no sense at all like where are these colors coming from it would be kind of hard to make a look maybe like a pearly blue look but i feel like these are so random and then there's a random like blush thrown in there I just, I wish that they would have done this with an, a cohesive color story because I think that this is something that I actually would be interested in purchasing because it's really cool. Like it's a really innovative, really cool packaging. I like the idea of it, you know? But the colors, it's just a no for me. Okay, here's a big one, guys. The Jeffree Star Bloodlust Palette. I am not purchasing this. And the reason why is because it looks really pretty and when i first saw it i even tweeted about this and was like oh my god it like looks so cool after i saw the video of him revealing and everything like oh my gosh it looks so cool like i would actually consider getting it and everything but now i'm just like ah, i'm glad i didn't buy it because that has faded so fast so fast i just feel like I don't use any of these colors very often i do think that you could get cool looks from it but the palette it's beautiful but it's just i don't want to buy something just for the packaging anymore like i feel like after the whole shane dawson one i feel like i kind of am just like i don't want to buy those because the packaging just makes me want to not touch it and not use it and that's not the point of makeup the point of makeup is to use it and can you imagine trying to travel with this thing 
that's a nightmare and that would be so sad if it broke because these are not cheap palettes beautiful concept i love the way it looks if other people are wanting to get it hey have at it but for me that's just not my vibe right now i love the purple velvet bill it is beautiful i just I just don't see myself ever using this palette and it doesn't look like it would be fun to store as well i have so many palettes that this one just seems like it'd be a nightmare to like try to store with my other ones so that's a no that actually goes for the whole bloodlust collection i'm not gonna be purchasing any of it next up we have this cheek palette from benefit oh my gosh benefit stop making these freaking palettes here's the problem with these they're great palettes but everyone has one and they all come with at least one or two things that you already have and that is so annoying because like i want to buy some of them because it's a good deal but I'm gonna have repeats and then I have literally like three or four of my hula bronzer or one of the bl blushes like I just think that they need to like chill with these palettes or come out with some that have all completely new things I don't know I just I feel like huh, I'm just getting tired of seeing these I feel like it's just they just keep doing it over and over again and this one hold on let me scroll back to the top because i believe that it just got released that this is a collaboration with morphe okay i misread it a little bit so it is a collaboration with morphe but they are doing brushes that basically say morphe and benefit why i just don't get it i i just don't get it like why what what I, I don't understand this i don't know on one hand i'm like cool that's awesome that brands are working together but on the other hand i'm just like but why i just don't understand it i don't get it like what's the point so you get three brushes and they're all face brushes so it looks like it's like a pet, like kind of like a pet hold on let me click on it <laughs> so it comes with a deluxe tapered powder brush and a pro angle brush. oh the oh r or just it has r and it's different packaging i don't know i don't know what's going on but they also have so it has the angled brush and then the pointed highlighter brush for 25 dollars and i guess that's an okay price but i don't know i just feel like this whole thing looks really weird is morphe gonna start selling benefit is that what it is is this like an in for them to like start getting into morphe stores because i guess that would be pretty freaking smart on benefit like that's a really good marketing strategy to be like oh we'll collaborate with them so that way we can get in the door and have more of our products sold in more stores so hmm i'm real interested to see if that's what they're trying to do if that's gonna happen in the future sneaky 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 but yeah i'm not gonna buy any of these i'm tired of these face palettes bring on something new benefit so now i just saw i've never seen this till right now this these are makeup forever lipsticks what is going on here <laughs> it is some very interesting packaging but what's the point of it that's what i need to know like why does it have that extra thing at the bottom it says that you like take you can take the package extra bottom part off so you can carry it around with you everywhere but what's the point of it then is it just so you makes it impossible to store <laughs> like what is happening here i need to look a little bit further into this really quick so it says that the packaging is inspired by this is by, this is from makeup forever's instagram they said that it's inspired by lip brushes often used by pro makeup artists the design will facilitate a precise application what no it won't that is just a waste of plastic to be honest listen makeup forever makes amazing products but what is this why are you doing this this is so pointless a lot of times makeup artists don't use lipsticks like that on people a lot of times they either scrape it off or they use a lip brush onto the lipstick and put it on it's pretty rare that people use an actual lipstick on someone's mouth just because it makes it easier to clean it later on if you don't do that because if you use it straight on somebody's lips you have to wipe off the end you have to spray it with alcohol and wipe it off again it's like a whole process so i feel like a lot of makeup art i mean i can't speak for everybody but i feel like a lot of makeup artists don't do this they don't take the actual lipstick tube and put it on the person so 
I don't know what they're talking about here. This is honestly so dumb in my opinion. I, I feel like I'm being super mean and rude, but like, I honestly feel like that's just a waste of plastic and why? Why? Last but not least, let's uh, just throw in another big one here. <laughs> I feel like I'm not like buying any of the big stuff because I'm just over the hype. I want makeup to inspire me and really just like, not for the hype, because I don't want it, you know? I don't want to buy something because other people are saying to buy it. And this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette. This is a first for me. I've bought every other Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette and I'm kind of done because I just feel like, why did she do this? She could have created a palette herself. Imagine if she would have created this palette with her brand as like her first eyeshadow palette. That would have been so much smarter to me. I mean, I'm sure there was probably some kind of contract or something that made her have to like do this with them or something, you know. We don't know the behind the scenes stuff, but I just feel like, why? It's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's getting great reviews, but it doesn't make sense to me. I don't get why she did this especially knowing that she was starting her brand. She must have known that she was making her own makeup brand before they started creating this palette. So I don't get it. There has to be something behind the scenes that like kind of made her have to do this. And Jaclyn Hill is really someone right now that I'm finding myself being annoyed by. And I, I go in and out like this with a bunch of YouTubers and I will stop being, I will like stop watching them and like kind of just, I need like space from them <laughs> because they're getting on my nerves. Everything they say, like everything they do is just like, oh, why are you being like that? Why are you doing that? It's kind of like when you hang out with your friend for a long, long time, like every single day and you're just like, okay, Listen, I love you, but I need some space because you are getting on my nerves. That's kind of how I feel about a lot of my YouTubers because about, about my YouTubers, because they're mine. <laughs> no, I really do feel like that about a lot of YouTubers because I genuinely love to watch YouTube so much and I see these people kind of like my friends and even though they don't know me, they're still my friends. And I can't help but just get annoyed by them sometimes because I just watch them so much or there's just hearing too much about them. You know, Jack on Hill was in so much drama lately and ugh, and like I do find myself annoyed with some of the stuff that she has done. I'm not gonna talk about details, whatever. I'm just like, yeah, Jacqueline Hill, I need a break. I need a break from her. Maybe things will change later on, but I don't know. I don't know. She, uh, she's kind of uh, not my favorite person right now. <laughs> but if you love Jaclyn Hill or if you love any of these products, please do not be discouraged by me saying I don't want to buy these or by the things that I said. Like I said, I'm just trying to not buy things for the hype and just for me. And if you see that this thing is something that you want because you love it, it really inspires you and you think it's beautiful, girl, go for it. Please take some of the things I said with a grain of salt. I'm extremely hyper right now or very wound up or something. I don't know why because it is um, 1.12 in the morning. <laughs> Late night videos always get me all wound up, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. And don't take me too seriously because I'm all crazy red now. I know, I get it. But sometimes my personality is just like full blown shining and this is it. <laughs> this is really how I am, guys. Like. Oh, I'm a little loud and crazy sometimes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're not subscribed already, I would really appreciate if you guys consider subscribing to my channel. Heck, even ring the notification bell. How often do I actually say that? Not very often, <laughs> but I remembered today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again for the third, fourth, fifth time. I don't know, for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.